Hi, I'm Laura. I'm going to show you how to tie a clove hitch knot. It's a used, really useful knot that you'll use for lashing or for when you're tying a dunk bag line or a clothes line to a tree. Um, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Now I'm going to show you how to do the clove hitch knot. This is one you'll use when you're hanging a clothes line or a dunk bag line or a lot in lashing. So you'll start out taking your rope over your pole or your tree or whatever you're tying the knot around. Make an X. Go around again. And then this time you're going to take your tail underneath the X that you made and coming out on this side. And when you pull it tight, it'll look like that. Let's do it again. Take your rope in front of your pole, around, make an X in the front, go around again, and then you're going to go underneath that X and come out on this side. So you can sort of see the two loops around the pole there, and then when you pull it tight, it'll look like that. So when you're tying a modified clove hitch, this is a time when you can get to the end of whatever you're tying it around. So you'll, you'll use this with lashing and other times that you're using something where you can reach the end. For this one, hold your rope in kind of a horseshoe shape like this. You're going to make two loops that go opposite directions. So first make a loop where the tail goes over the back line then make a loop where the tail goes under the back line. And you're gonna cross the loops, slide it onto your pole, and tighten it down. And you'll have a little X. So that's the modified clove hitch. I'll show it to you one more time. Start kind of a horseshoe shape. Make a loop going this way with the tail going over. Make a loop this way with the tail going under. And then cross those Slide it onto your pole, and just pull both ends to tighten it. You'll have an X, It'll look like that on the back, that's the modified clove hitch.